only difference was pretty much that we were like staying at the same house now. Mm. So I feel like we had a pretty smooth transition. That's not to say we didn't have like. Really yeah. Oh, it felt it was literally the same except we were living together and having making love. <laughs> we don't talk nice. about that. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. I think you guys said you didn't want to talk about that with us, so we won't say the word. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can say. <laughs> Welcome back to the So Far So Good podcast. I'm Gabriel. I'm Jess. And we have two very, wonderful, very, yeah, you take it. Very wonderful. Special <laughs> guests. Amazing. In guests. the studio today. Matt and, and Abby, Abby Howard. Aww. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> We have sound effects here. Yeah, that's so We're high tech. I love wow. that it's live. That's oh, really cool. Yeah, it's a problem because I'm always in this chair next to it and I'm just like, hey, hey. Can you reprogram it to do like any crazy yeah. sound? You can, but I haven't. So these are all stock and I feel like it adds oh. the cringe value to our podcast. I love it. Ah, that's, that's yeah. great. Thanks <laughs> that's for awesome. having us. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah, no. Dude, thanks for being on here. It's this an is, honor. You are our first proper guests. I like, would say like other than... Friends and family. You're our first guests. Wow. We've had guests. Yeah, yeah, but they're like guests who are, we've had my sister on, and then we've had like two friends of ours, Sebastian and Bobby, but they're like, they're like part of the family as well. So it's like, guys, yeah. come on, and we'll just yeah. joke around on the podcast for a bit. You guys are like the first proper nice. guests. So welcome. We're honored. Hi. Oh, I love it. Live studio audience. Oh my gosh. I do have to say. What? 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 I do have to say, this is our first, if for those of you who don't know, we're actually, we just met for the first time in person. Okay. Yeah. And it feels, it like, it feels good. It feels right. Okay. Dare I say, I like right now. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, I got That's you, dude. I so appreciate that. <laughs> did, you listen, did you listen to the song? Dude, oh, it's great. Thank you. We are listeners. Yeah, thank yeah, yeah. you. He's been waiting to <laughs> say. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you did music, and then I was, I've been wanting to say that all day. I didn't know you did music. Somehow, at some point, I found out, and then we started listening to, listening to the stuff, and I was like, It's new. This guy's yeah. got pipes. So we I'm like so, right now. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I yeah. so appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's super encouraging. It's literally, the, it's my third song on Spotify. I literally have three songs on Dude, let's Spotify. Go. I know. I've let's listened go. to them all. So, I so appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so if you had to describe yourselves to someone new, what would you say? Ooh. Matt, you describe me and I'll describe you. Oh, I like that. Abby is unashamedly herself. That's is that even a word? Aww. Is that a, like she's not afraid to be herself. Wow. She is her herself 100% of the time, all the time. She's funny. She is, you know, okay, a joy to be like around. Okay, now it's like us gassing each other. Okay. This is kind of awkward. Let's go. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry, no, let's hey, do I, it. Let's I, go. I can keep going. I can keep going. No, I would say Matt Extremely is talented. Like, she's awesome. Oh. Very, he is like a golden retriever. Like we always joke around. Like I don't nice. really know Matt. Like upset is just like maybe a little bit quieter than normal. Like he's <laughs> his Aww. set levels very happy go lucky, very creative, hardworking, and he's just genuinely like a really nice person. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so if you're like in an Uber or something, do you ever tell people what you do? Ooh. I love to talk to Ubers and I love to talk to random people this on This morning me. at 4 a.m. He's having oh, the life yeah. story of our Uber and I am like dead girl walking. <laughs> we, were, <laughs> we were talking about baseball. Yeah, because the, the nice. Diamondbacks just lost the World Series and we, we live in Arizona. So oh, we're talking about that. I, I do yeah. not Are you a baseball it. guy? Not really. I grew up in St. Louis. I, I'm like a Cardinals fan through and through. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't want, I always avoid telling people that we do like social media because I don't want people to be like, like oh, you're an influencer yeah. like yeah. I, I don't want to it just makes things weird so it's easier yeah, to yeah. say like oh yeah i do marketing we, oh. i told someone in line at That's the airport easy, today yeah. that we did social media marketing yes yeah we say like oh we work in advertising we yeah make yeah videos for brands video you for know. brands is yeah. like the easiest. on social media and yeah you're like, oh cool so you can work from home like yeah it's great yeah yeah <laughs> it's not that i'm not proud of like the content we create it's just like yeah i don't, yeah. I don't want people to treat us differently whether like better or worse you know yeah, i yeah. want them just to treat me as a human being Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when, when you like get that. the comment, it's like, oh, so so you're famous. It's yeah, like, yes, how, many, how, many, how followers many followers do you have? And it's like, oh. I like, did not it doesn't matter. Okay. Chill. There's a couple <laughs> weird questions that can follow yeah. it up if you're like, I'm an Instagrammer or something yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm like, I don't really identify with that either. So yeah. I I'm never know how to TikTok. answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm a mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Literally can you tell? That's literally, that's literally <laughs> actually how we got our start was doing TikTok dances. Yeah. Hey, 
Let's go. We Isn't did a couple. Nerd, we, well, nerd okay. Hate? Well, we kind of started our TikTok account doing TikTok dances. But Everyone we, was doing it. That wasn't like yeah. our start, though. Maybe after this, we'll have to do a TikTok dance. You'll, oh. you'll need to teach us because <laughs> we do not. With the light? We, <laughs> I don't even have Wait, TikTok. Yes, yes, the light one. We should totally do I that. I bet That'd your be mental fun. health is better for not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, I don't have <laughs> I social media on my app. phone right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing? Like, no socials at all? No. What? Yeah. It's it's just I just like, go on to post, and then I'm just like, mm. er, I have, well, like, I have uh, limits on my apps. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's great about Instagram now is, for some reason, now when I started re-downloading it, it keeps me logged in. So I can just re-download it, click on it. I'm already logged in. I can post what I need to post, and then just delete oh, it yeah. again. Yeah, that's wow. so good. Wow. Yeah, I don't, it just, like, happened, and I'm like, okay, this works better for me. So, like, yeah. when you're, since you're not, like, scrolling, do you just, like, go on walks and stuff? And, like, <laughs> do read you books? Like, read? Yeah. What, do you, I watch, what do you do with your I time? watch YouTube. I don't have it on my phone, but I will watch YouTube more than I probably should on okay. the TV and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, been reading. Also a dad, so, like, that takes up time. Right. You know? yeah. yeah. You guys get it. I'm, like, free time. I know. Mm -hmm. Looks different. Okay, so we start our episodes each week with something called So Good or No Good. It could be a game. Get it? It could be... It's so far, so good. It's a podcast thing. It's nice. different every week. There's a sign so behind you, too. No. I love it. <laughs> really, I'm honestly jealous of your sign. I, it, how dope would that be to have a freaking sign oh, on you your should. podcast? You, you should. should do it. It looks so cool that on the camera. It's like <laughs> a really... like. Easy thing to make it look, look like legit. And the legit. decor is so Aww, sweet. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, Christmas vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Merry <is> Christmas, awesome. <laughs> everyone. Yeah. Happy holidays. Okay. <laughs> so Happy holidays. Okay. okay so. <laughs> so we thought we would play a game, kind of like couple versus couple. So have you ever played the game where you both need to guess yeah. the same word, like say the same word? I think so. It's like, yeah. I, I think it's this? like telepathy game or whatever <laughs> yeah, it's called. Yeah. Um, so this is to see which couple is so good and which couple is, is no, no good. good. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. Do you guys like so confused. Go like, what? Okay. <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> so no, okay. I, get, I get it, yeah. We'll start and then you'll like understand. Oh, okay. okay. We just look at each other, say two random words, and then okay. it's how many... How soon can we get to saying the same word at the okay. same time? We're going to be like three hours in. Like yeah, I know. <laughs> no, but this game actually is so fun once you start doing it. We'll yeah. do it quick. Okay. Ready? Get ready. Three, three two, two, one. Christmas. Baby. Okay. Three, three two, two, one. one. Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Boom. Game over, dude. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I Let's you were gonna go. Say Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's go. Wait, why didn't we think no. of Jesus? <laughs> because <laughs> Justin Bieber. How did you get to Justin Bieber, baby? Because baby, baby Justin Chris Bieber Christmas. Mistletoe. It's the most beautiful time of the year. <laughs> Their brains like, just weren't bro. the same. Well, also, she's like a ridiculous Big Justin fan. Okay. Bro, she had hey, like. I, I was past tense. Like, okay. She oh. had posters of him all over her room at wow. like 15 years old. I still have my posters up. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that makes me feel better. Bed. <laughs> just okay, laying down, it's on the room. <laughs> yeah. Just like Justin Haley, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird, I'm just weird. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know you're kidding. Okay. Yeah, sorry. That was a stupid joke. All okay, right. Ready? No, I thought it was funny. One, basically. Wait, no. No. But it's not working. Why is it not working? There we yeah. go. There oh, we go. No. All right. So did right. we get that in two? <laughs> we got it in two. Okay. That, I'm going to be honest. That was incredible. That is Good luck very hard to that. beat. No, that, we're going to lose for sure. <laughs> I just hope I we can get no it in fit. 10. If we can get it in 10, I'll be like, <laughs> okay. we won. Okay. Just look into each other's eyes. Matt, please lock in right now. <laughs> Three, okay. two, one. Banana. Mistletoe. Mm. Mm. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Lights. Kiss. <laughs> Three, two, speed it up. One degree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I am so. I'm sorry. We're gonna. We're, this is so bad. Okay. Three, two, one. Jim Max. Carrey. Mm. Mm. What did you say? Max, Max the dog from Max. the Grinch. Max. Oh. Max. And you said Jim Carrey? Yes. Can we finish this for you? Yeah, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Should can we, we try? just take no good and have them be so <laughs> yeah, good? Yeah, we okay. can let you guys be so good. Can we so finish good. this for you? Three, two, one, one Ace Grinch. Ventura. What? No, he already said already Grinch. already said the Grinch. Oh, you said the Grinch earlier? Yeah. Does Oops. it count if one person says yeah. Grinch and the other one says yeah. the Grinch? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's just so good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. we lost. Okay, we all, so we all yeah. kind of failed. We are so not good at that game. It takes, it does take practice. Once you like do it a bunch, then you kind of I thought you were going to say, it takes a certain level. It takes a certain level of like love and like connection. You guys have been married an extra like three years than us. Yeah, 
What are you guys at? Oh, we've but been together, we've been together for, four. for like Wait, yeah, seven Wait, we've been together years. for seven oh, and a half okay. years. Oh, wow. Like, we've been married for four and a half. We've been together for seven and three quarters. Years. Holy crap. So you guys we are just like, extra you quarter. met and then boom, like marriage. We, yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we met, yeah, 2016, we met. Wait, that's in, when we that's started when dating. We met in 2016. No, yeah. we did not meet. We anyway. started dating in 2016. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Wait, yeah. So we started dating Fact in February. <laughs> when did you start dating? June. Oh, wow. okay. So really close. Yeah. yeah. But we were married Sweet. by the end of that year. That's amazing. Was yeah. Super Whoa, quick. Whoa, yeah. wait, less than a year after you met? Yeah. Um, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, but it was a long distance thing. Yeah. Okay. That like sped up the timeline because we were that like is insane doing long distance from US to Australia it was not. Yeah. No. Yeah. It wasn't the vibe. But anyway, know. this is not about us. <laughs> here we are here Sorry. with Matt and Abby. <laughs> Next question. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like you guys already are just being like very humble about I don't know your success and I don't know we've followed your journey for a while and feel like you've just had so much success in like such a short amount of time. So we wanted to know like how that has been for you going from like, you know, not a large social following to now having like so many faces on you. Was it hard to adjust? I don't know. Just we've, yeah, like seen your shorts, like some of your shorts have over a hundred million views. Like yeah, is that many billion? faces? A hundred billion? Oh, a hundred million. Know, million. <laughs> like, <Bruh>. Really? <laughs> That would yeah. be crazy. That, can you imagine 100, 100 billion views? I'm like, that doesn't make sense for the population of humanity. People are just rewatching it like crazy. Yeah. I think so. there are some shorts that have a billion, which is insane. Wow. Can yeah, you imagine that? A billion views? Not ours. Not ours. No, no, no. no. Just, Our most viewed one, I think, it's like, I don't even know how it even got to that, but it's like a video of us like pretending to pop Abby's belly when she's pregnant and it got like 300 million somehow. I don't, I don't understand why. Wild. Like the algorithm just randomly chose that video and was like, this is the one. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, That's like, so nuts. how was that adjusting to such a different world? Yeah, I think that you guys can probably relate where, like, yes, these numbers seem like, like you're saying, like, 300 million feels so crazy, but, like, our day-to-day -day is so relatively normal. Like, yeah. we're, we wake up in the morning, go to the gym, hang out with our kids, like, mm -hmm. that it's kind of hard to fathom that type of thing. Like, with you saying that, it's like... Yeah, it, it has been crazy and it has been a whirlwind, yet, like, our life still feels, like... Normal. Normal. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it's just a normal life and um, I'm super grateful. I feel like there's definitely been an element of luck into, like, this happening as yep. it has. And we feel so yeah. grateful. Like, like we always say, there's nothing more valuable than, like, time together and time mm -hmm. with our kids. And that is, like, why I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Like, it could make me cry because it's just, like, this is the most valuable thing and that this job has given us that opportunity so oh. ultimately like that's why i'm so thankful for like this success and also yeah. thank you for the compliment oh, yeah course. thank you thank you so much what's, what's crazy is i would have i would have been like crapping my pants four years ago to ever think that we would have like five million subs on like youtube or something mm -hmm. like I just would have never in a million years would have guessed that because four years ago I was just trying to get a hundred people to watch my YouTube videos mm -hmm. and th and I was really struggling. I was like hoping that we could make some side money, like maybe a hundred bucks a month on YouTube. And I, I would have been like so thrilled. But after like a year of doing that, it wasn't working and I was getting so frustrated. So I think like it's crazy where we've where we've gotten after all of that. Mm -hmm. Um but then what's also crazy is then we, I look back at like old memories. I'm like, man, I wish I could just go back and live those mm -hmm. like simple days of Us being working young at a pizza shop and working together. at a, working at a pizza shop together and making, I think we made, what, we made like $2 and 50 cents an hour plus tips. And I would get like one time someone tipped me a hundred dollars and it was like the crate. I was like, this is so much money. Like I, I just got a hundred dollar tip mm. and that was like mm. the coolest thing ever. I don't know. I just, it's crazy how like you have success and then you're like, man, I want to go back to when I, before all this happened, you mm -hmm. know, it's different. So it's interesting. Yeah, it is. It is like weird to say, but it like opens up a new whole can of worms. Yeah. That you like think all your problems will go away when like, yes. you have like a decent income and stuff. And then it's all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's like other problems that it's like the problems aren't putting food on the table or paying rent but yeah. it's like there's other stuff that comes with it that just yeah keeps you human <laughs> and humble i guess and, you know? and, and not to like plug my song again but like that's why <laughs> that's why i wrote <clears throat> i like right now mm -hmm. because i found myself in this trap of 
wanting to go back in time and relive mm-hmm. all these fun memories or like I just can't wait till my son is old enough to snowboard and surf mm-hmm. and like I can teach him how to snowboard and surf like it'll be yeah. so sick and forgetting about there is going to be a day where all I want to do is just go back and live the life that I'm living yeah. right now Ugh. and so just fully embracing the moment and saying hey I'm going to give this all my energy and attention because once this is gone, it's gone, and there's no going back to that. Ugh, the thought of that makes oh. me emotional. Literally, me too. I'm like, try not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. How, since this is kind of like still a new world and kind of like new job, how does your family feel? Or like people from back home, like, has anyone treated you differently? We've been so lucky. I feel like or I just we have really good people in our lives, and everyone's just been – they definitely had questions and at first we're like what in the world like yeah. but it was all like it was coming from a kind place and I think everyone's just been mm-hmm. rooting us on and they just think it's crazy because they're like this is weird because we've been friends with you for all the time and now it's interesting because we'll be out and about and people will like see us and be like we watch your videos mm-hmm. and they just think it's funny but everyone's been the thing that's hard I will say is for our parents to see, like, negative comments about Ooh, us. yes. Oh. Like, when these people are commenting, they're probably not thinking, like, oh, their mom is going to read this. Yeah. And, Hurtily. like, it hurts them way more than it hurts us. And that makes me sad because now that I'm a mom, I'm like, I hate that that has to, like, be a part of it for you guys. Mm. Totally. My mom is exactly the same. And I, like, kind of had to train her to not look and, like, now I think, like, if she watches a video of ours or something, she'll, like, look at the first couple, which mm-hmm. are usually, like, fine. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> and, yeah, so she got really hurt in the beginning, too. Because mm. I can't yeah. imagine, like, now, yeah, being a mom, like, yes, I don't want to see anything. Oh, my gosh, no. Her. Yeah. And yeah, so my mom. not mommy- allowed to have <laughs> social media until they're 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, she would screenshot them and text me, and she's like, you need to delete this. You need to block this person. I'm like, mom. Trust me, as soon as I start going down that road, it's just going to make it so much oh, worse. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, please, mm-hmm. just please stop reading them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you need to block this person. <laughs> I'm like, mom, yeah. you don't know. That is, that's funny. So, oh, man. yeah, I would say that's been the only, like, hard part about it. But everyone's been so, so, like, incredibly nice and supportive. That's, re- that's really good. Everyone's tried to treat us the exact same. Oh, That's awesome. That's I don't lucky. know. Is there something I'm forgetting? No, I would, I would say, yeah, that's definitely, I mean, I think like maybe a little bit here and there, like people just being like, whoa, that's cool. Like congrats on the success. Like that's awesome. But I would say, yeah, overall, yeah. Like people are just really happy for us, which is really yeah, cool. Yeah, we're the Aww. same. So then they choose the same. That's good. <laughs> nice. So you guys obviously do a lot. TikTok, YouTube, the podcast, music, like anything else. We wanted to know because this has been a conversation for us quite a lot this week is about fulfillment and like what out of all that you do like what is it that brings you the most fulfillment what do you enjoy doing the most yeah all of it like we have a lot of and we've gone through so many I don't know it's like I've been doing this for 10 years now like started on Vine in 2013 it's just been like so much change and like trying something it not working or me not liking it and and everything and now we're at a point where it's like what do we actually want to be doing yeah we're like kind of emotionally past the point of like just trying to like do the grind for the sake of numbers yeah like obviously that's part of the gig and you need to like keep the business moving and stuff like that but it was it's kind of like the question of like if you got a hundred million dollars just popped into your bank account right now like would we be doing the things that we're doing right now like day to day you know what i mean so did you guys get a hundred million dollars no that's very theoretical because if you did if you did like i want to know how that happened (laughs) it's called the lottery (laughs) (laughs) i heard that like everyone that wins ends up blowing it in the first year really yeah Yeah, because that's crazy people don't know how to manage money so then they get it and they're like oh they feel like it's never going to run out and then it's all gone and then it's back to where they started gosh yeah, well nice. you would think if it was 100 million you're like this will never run out oh yeah for sure it's especially if like all you've had is like a, a minimum wage job well, or something yeah. like that it's like you're like this is never gonna run out like think about how hard you have to work to spend 100 million. It, like so, yeah i don't know <laughs> no, no no i'm just saying like if someone <clears throat> someone made a million like that's that's a lot of work to mm-hmm. make that money but then to spend a million dollars like you could just go buy a single vehicle that's a million dollars and then it's crazy. gone goodbye like it's not yeah. that hard to spend money Gets easy when you practice at it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that oh, why you man. guys are, are budgeting? <laughs> yeah, so legit. <laughs> legit. No, no, no. Well, oh we were, gosh. we recently renovated our new house that we moved into. Yeah. And then like afterwards, we're like, oh, we need to start budgeting again. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> yeah. no, no. Because we, we tried to do like renovated Airbnb and we thought like, oh, this is a good, good idea. 
and then we looked at how much everything cost. Like the the roof needed to be repaired. Bro. There's new, oh. new plumbing. Oh my gosh. Dude, completely. Like we essentially re- redid everything down to the plumbing, the roof, the landscaping. It's just like Bro, I the never. Cost of, the cost of a single countertop. I never want to do this ever again. Yeah. It was horrible. It's I can't look at it. One thing on top of another. So fulfillment. In terms of fulfillment, Matthew James. So uh, renovating a property does not fulfill you. No. <laughs> no. I think like. Oh man, so many things. I the thing is, I like to do a lot of stuff. You guys, mm-hmm. like I, I am creative and I just love to make music and make videos and all this stuff. But I think Matt what I've been likes finding everything. I just like, mm. he gets passionate about so many things, and we always have these conversations of like, can you do it all? Yeah. What mm-hmm. can you possibly like? We have limited time. Like, what can we? Well, it's it's hard because like <laughs> we can't have a successful podcast, YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram you know, post everything to like, we're doing Snapchat now, but now I'm trying to do music. And then I also want to be a, like a good husband and father and family man. Like you can't do it all. And so it's like, yeah. yeah, And then try to try to do an Airbnb. Like what? So you got, it's like, where can I like cut things out of my life so that I can really focus in on the stuff that I care about. But Mm. fulfillment this week, it's, been two moments that I can think about specifically one getting my son up from like just like when he wakes up in the morning like Mm -hmm. that kid he's 16 months old now and he just has the biggest smile and just he's it's crazy how much like he likes me I guess like it's (laughs) crazy it's crazy I mean I I don't know it's just like when you're a parent you they think you're the the best they think you're a superhero Mm -hmm. and it's just like I, I just get so much joy out of seeing that kid and hugging him and now he just like i'll hug him and he'll put his head on my shoulder and i'll oh, be like the best. and i'll best. say hugs can you give me a hug and then he'll take his hands back and then put his hands back on me again <laughs> and it's just like oh, i just love that so much and with abby like we got away the other night we, we went to disneyland and abby's parents came and they decided they luckily watched our kids for two like hours once they, went to bed. once they went to bed yeah just like you know held down the fort at the hotel and we got to go out just us and then like abby was being her goofy self because like she, she her mom free. brain her Aww. mom brain turned off and she was able to be her goofy self again and i was just especially like, at oh. disney like yeah, yeah. Kid again. it was yeah. like yes we can be like young and free and just like just have fun me and you and that mm-hmm. was like a really fulfilling moment wow Aww. yeah i really do think that at the end of the day like our fulfillment comes from like our relationships with each other our kids yeah. our people in her cir- circle and I think it, it kind of has to be that way because, mm-hmm. like, these other things are not – they're really cool and exciting and amazing blessings, but, like, they're not, at the end of the day, going to satisfy. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that was such a sweet answer. I was fully well expecting, said, like, I enjoy TikTok the most. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, truthfully. T- actually, it's TikTok dances that fulfill me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess out of your work, what what is, like, what you enjoy the most? Like, creatively and, you know, Ooh, all of that. Yeah. Is oh. it would be music for you? Recently, it's been the music. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, that's been something, like, since I was a- as young as I can remember, I loved to sing and do that. And so it's cool that I am making songs now. It's mm-hmm. weird to, like, and I, I, don't, I just want to, like, keep doing it and see what becomes of it. Like, mm-hmm. if, if, I, if I, if all that happens is I make some cool songs and I can share them with my family and my kids as they get older, like, that'll be awesome. And if it becomes something bigger, that's cool, too. But I just kind of want to do it and, and see what becomes of it. Aww. I love that. I isn't it so cool that like having music out, they'll just be able to to listen to it. Yeah. Like when they're like fifteen or something. Like yes. it's just gonna be there forever. Exactly. And I think what's neat about music too is I was listening to like Sinatra the other mm-hmm. day. And you're like, okay, this dude, he's like, he's you know dead and gone. He was alive in like the 20s or 40s or something. And it's like, we're still listening to his music today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like how sick would that be to make a song that has such an impact on the world that people listen to it a hundred years from now? Yeah, how cool crazy. would that be? That's Cause they're not going to be really watching. Are you like no yeah. one a hundred years from now is going to be like, let's go watch Matt and Abby's TikTok dude, dance video. I, <laughs> <laughs> dude, but I was thinking about that though. Like, like in, in context of like our relationship, we started vlogging before we got married, before we, like when we started dating kind of a few months after we started dating, we started like vlogging together and it's like, Oh, will there be like a weird resurgence of like (laughs) our vlog story that like people find again in like, 75 years like when they're just like in the I depths of youtube it's in, like this <laughs> retro couple from the 20s you know no like in history classes in like you know t- uh 24 10 or whatever what is the year i don't know like hundreds of years now they're be like yeah and there was this massive like thing like this thing called social media that got really big and like yeah. couples channels became big and jess and gabe were like the you know they did the youtube vlogs well imagine and gabe like, shaved his head you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah she wasn't happy about that um but imagine like seeing someone from the 30s 
or the 20s, like the 1930s or 1920s yeah. who just film their life every day. You know, so that'd be oh, so yeah. interesting. That would be so that'd be interesting really cool. to watch. Honestly, yeah. yeah good point. I would, that. I would watch that. That's I what I'm saying. I would watch that. And then all of a sudden it's like you see it through not the context of like history, but the context of just a, a couple falling in love or a couple. Yeah. Like that's all still, if YouTube is still around, going to be online. And like, that's really cool. You know, I don't know. That's the weird things I think about. Let's make a movie. <laughs> don't steal my idea <laughs> i'm taking that one <laughs> anyway speaking of social media yeah i'm sure it was a learning curve going into this you know there's obviously a lot of good and some bad as well how have you guys dealt with hate or like people trying to cancel like do you look at comments how has like that part of the job been for you how's your mom dealt with <laughs> oh yeah it does no, make no, me no. so sad yeah i tell her all the time i'm like mom you gotta not look and that's yeah. the same advice mm -hmm. that i have given myself like i'm so thankful for like the community of people that are like i mean we but we all know like most people are just like silent followers like mm -hmm. enjoying your content mm -hmm. never comments anything love it feel so connected to you yeah but aren't even commenting and then the people that do comment most of those are so nice and encouraging yet there's something weird about human nature where you just like remember the hateful things so i feel like the only way that i have been able to make this something that i think can be sustainable for myself is to just like kind of disconnect and like no one person needs that much feedback about themselves. Like Literally. that's crazy. That's good not or bad, normal. I think. Yeah, good yeah. or bad. Like I don't want to be like praised so much that I like develop this crazy ego. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like for all of it, I just I mean, obviously I think it's good to like check in and just be thankful and read and respond to some. But ultimately, like I don't really read anything. Plus, I'm like everything like my time I see so much now as a transaction as like time with my kids. So Same. I'm like, am I gonna sit here and read feedback? like online or am I going to spend it like playing with my sons, mm. you know? Yeah. So I'm like, I kind of, when I look at it that way, I'm like, this is not worth it. So yeah, I really, really don't read a lot of comments and Matt yeah. really doesn't either. I've, I've slowed down a lot. I've noticed sometimes I have this like toxic habit of like searching the comments to find the negative ones. I'm like, I wonder if anyone said anything mm. mean. You know? Why do we do that? <laughs> you like scroll. It's like, I love you guys. You're the best. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, they suck. Like I hate them, you yeah, know, yeah. whatever. I, and then it's like, oh, Someone hates me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the ones that hurt crazy. the most are the ones that you kind of like know are true. And then yeah. someone calls it out. Yes. Like if I didn't put like enough effort into a video that I wanted oh, to okay. and then I post it and then all of a sudden I see a comment that's like, you know, I don't think they like cared about this video that they made. And it's just oh. like, oh, bro, they're right. I didn't put the effort that I should have, you know, like that sort of yeah. thing. That's brutal. You know? It's like they yeah, confirm. Your, stepping mm, aside and then doubt. also just reminding myself like where my confidence and like how i view myself like my identity comes from and it's not from comments online. yeah, yeah so yeah. That, i think that's gotten easier too as i've gotten older and more mature that's why i'm thinking about like all these high schoolers and even middle schoolers online that's that makes me have a pit in my stomach because it's hard to work through this as like a full adult. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I cannot even imagine. Like, it kind of makes me really sad thinking about it. What makes me sick is when you see all the channels hop on hating on another channel or another person. Like, someone gets canceled and it's like, oh, let's all make videos about this person. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. then we'll get views. <clears throat> and it's just like, why are you falling into that? Mm -hmm. And then, but what's interesting is like, karma is real. And those, those same people, like, eventually then get like canceled for something themselves. And it's like, it's going to come back and bite you in the butt. So, like, don't, don't go yeah. online and just trash on other people. Well, yeah. the audience, they're also like pulling as an audience that likes yeah. to see people's downfalls and exactly the drama and all that stuff and that is weird too that i've noticed is like for the longest time it seemed like everyone was our cheerleader and then about this time last year is when i started to notice like more and more people that see how, how i don't know i just thought of something what i don't know <laughs> on, like, all of a sudden on our tiktok search bar it started to become what does this mean wait if i say this now is it gonna come more matt and abby red flag or what matt and abby red flag Matt and Abby controversy. Matt and Abby barf. Ma Matt and Abby barf. I don't what know what that means. Matt and Abby barf I don't know what that means. Mean. But I saw that in the search part too, and it's like, man, like once you grow All to. All of it, our say Matt and Abby barf. Oh my god. Once you go to a certain size, like it's like, oh, we built them up. Now let's see them fall. It's like, like yeah. dude, screw those people. You know, uh, the the TikTok search thing is evil. It's I don't evil. Understand it like it. gives. It, it just feeds like negative yeah. searches that people yeah. have searched. Yeah, it's so sure. weird. I think it's because people see it and then they're like wait, there's a controversy? I love yeah. that. Yes. And then yeah, they search yeah. and then they're like trying to find something. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I think Bruh. I think controversy opens up a curiosity gap in people's brains, and then mm. they're like, "Oh, I want to know what the controversy is." And so then, like, they search for it, and then they, even if there's no controversy, like, you, you can make a you story make out something of out. Yeah, and that's what scares me too. Is like you could literally take any creator in the world and like find something that they did that like maybe wasn't the best, and then be like, "Okay, they did this wrong thing. Let's cancel them." Yeah, and and it could be anyone from any time in their life, you know. You could go back as far as 10 years ago, and it's like, oh, this is the thing. Canceled. Yeah. Oh, so, so did you ever find out what Matt and Abby Barf is? No. no, I'm genuinely You're asking, asking, asking you guys. Have, do you know what Matt and Abby Barf is? Well, Abby Barf we did a deep dive before this podcast. <laughs> it's us searching Matt and Abby Barf. <laughs> like, literally, in my mind, I was like, there was one time we posted a TikTok about me throwing up in early pregnancy. I was like, Dude. did it have to do with that? And it was just, all it was, was it, we were teasing the fact that she was pregnant, and then people were like, I cannot believe this husband blogging his wife. Taking advantage of her. T- exploiting his wife like, reviews of her throwing up. It's like, it's like, okay, look, like, we literally vlog every day of our life and this just happened to be something interesting that happened yeah. and then we posted it and of course we were we both made sure that we were comfortable with this video going out and it's like yeah. this is so exploitive oh yeah. i'm sorry it's yeah I, Social all that media, to say man. a healthy distance from it even though we are putting out so many videos it feels like like we still have like a pretty good distance yeah. from it it's like we kind of record and then how it, we know like ourselves and then also i feel like we have people that will keep us in check like in our personal life yeah mm-hmm. so like i can rest assured that like if yeah. something goes south it's because it's gotten in the also i don't want people to like think that we're just like oh b- pity me I'm this poor <laughs> influencer like no. i i am so thankful for it everything like i i'm so incredibly thankful yeah so yeah. i just yeah. want to make that clear like Aww. there are <clears throat> so many people have it like so much worse oh than gosh, yeah. than us like we have it we have it good i just want to make that have clear it, like Aww. i'm very thankful for all of this yeah. very very thankful so. we say that actually to each other all the time like can you That's believe awesome. this like yeah and i would remind myself that like not to be like oh pity me but like there'd be nights where i would be like up so freaking late like i'd been pulling all nighters, you know, editing for twelve hours straight, like barely even breaking to go to the bathroom, like editing videos and trying to make the the videos as good as they could possibly be. And I remind myself, it'd be like, I am so blessed that I get to have this opportunity. Like, mm-hmm. there's so many people that wish they were in my shoes, and so I want to I want to do the best job I can and make you know the the best videos that I can because I'm just very blessed and thankful. Mm-hmm. And so I just yeah. Oh, that's well so said, encouraging. Guys. Yeah, that's I feel awesome. like that's such a sweet mindset to have. Mm-hmm. Really important. Kind of on that same topic, I don't know. I feel like us as couples, we have a lot in common. One that I thought maybe, I mean, just from like watching your content and like listening to your podcast, I'm like, I feel like there could be similarities with for us, for example. I like more of a private life and Gabe, like Gabe's dream. I want to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> It literally feels like this. No, okay. This is our, from. Do you want to join my boy band? Would you like to be oh, a part of my boy? Oh no! Don't the dads. Dads. No. no, it's the like dads. a dad band. No, it's called Daddies. <laughs> <laughs> Who can we recruit? Okay, I like it. Dude, that is so funny. What if that was actually a thing? Oh that would be the. F- <laughs> People think they're going to watch like male strip. <laughs> and it's just, and it's just a bunch of like dads and dudas. wholesome dads oh. wearing dudas, like yeah, oh, or, my or, oh my gosh, playing playing guitar and singing. Gosh, <laughs> singing about their wives and yeah. children. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, no, legit though. We have, um, gosh, that is so funny. So, so Jess. Well, I mean, the thing is, we both like privacy especially for so long putting our whole life on the internet yeah for years and years and years it, it got to a point when we had uh Makaya, our first baby well our only, our only baby at this point <laughs> <laughs> um we just wanted to like pull back a little bit and yeah. not show everything that was happening inside our house and then just you know kind of like set set boundaries of like how much of the baby are we going to show so that kind of like led us down this path of really thinking of, about how we're going to like move forward in the future of like how private do we actually want to be five, 10 years from now? What yeah. does that look like? And, and I then, think also, sorry to cut you off, but I don't know if you guys feel this way, but in the lifestyle genre, sometimes like the more you share, the better it can perform. Like people yes. want, you know, want more and more. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. So yeah. Anyway, there's, there's just, I, and I don't mind being in the limelight, but it's like, like the dream for me would be to, to be a movie director one day. 
wow. and do that yeah. successfully. But that doesn't mean I'm like showing my whole private life, you know yeah. what I mean? But I'm yeah. still like, I'm not afraid of like being on camera and being in the spotlight or whatever. So would you actually like being a movie director though? Like I, I wonder if the hours would be too much. Cause I, f I feel like a lot of those people might be working 80 hour weeks and they yeah. don't see their kids, you know? Mm. It, yeah. It would be more so, I mean, uh, and who knows how it's, it can happen, but it's like, it's something that I would want to have control completely over uh, like it's like my own thing rather than being hired by a studio gotcha like you know? your production company like I'm, you're making a film. yeah yeah so right now i'm actually like i'm working on a short film behind the scenes that nice. i'm just like my parents story that's cool so that's just like a i i had that realization i was like i need to start working on this dream of mine that like i started this whole thing for like you guys went to acting school that's like what what i started doing like grew up doing musical theater and then moved to la for the social media stuff or like because of the social media stuff, but was able to like get acting gigs there and keep like doing that thing. And that just really over the years completely took a backseat because of the career that we grew online. And yeah. it's been like such an amazing blessing mm -hmm. to, to grow that. And, but at, at this point it's, we're trying to figure out like, where can we like keep taking the business, which the podcast is great because we can like still be really personal mm -hmm. yeah. with our audience and like talk about things, but we don't have to like, show everything that's happening mm. in our home, but we can like yeah. share and talk and connect with our audience in like a conversational way. You know, yeah. so, I, I don't know. That's like our kind of world right now. So we're curious to know like, yeah, how does like that mm -hmm. boundaries or like, ha have you found a balance? <clears throat> you good? My voice is left. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> boundaries or a balance with like privacy and like, your intimacy since you do share so much online yeah there's something like you said about having kids that like makes you ask those questions and like really deeply think about them because for me personally i'll put it all out there like i don't really i'm not like very embarrassed about many things mm -hmm. in my life i am kind of an open book like i kind of treat it like with my girlfriends like i <laughs> I'll put it all out there. Obviously, I'm not going to share, like, if it's something between Matt and I, like, I'll yeah. consider him and saying things, but if it's about me, I don't really care. And about most things. But then when you have these other beings, you're like, they can't even tell me if that's something they want shared mm. or th things like that. So I think that we constantly are asking ourselves, like, about boundaries and yeah. um, what that looks like. It's crazy because, like, like you were saying, the more vulnerable you are, the more people connect to that. And mm. I think that's just how humans work, right? Like, if I open up to you guys right now about some sort of something that I've been dealing with, like, you guys are going to be like, wow, that's cool that Matt opened up to me. Now you feel yeah. like you know me more. And I think in the same way with social media, when you do that, when you're a lifestyle vlog creator, people connect to that more. And so with the whole starting a family thing, people were super interested in us you know, getting pregnant and then like the whole journey of what that looked like. And then we, we moved and then we had our baby. And so like, we were just sharing our life authentically. And then we had this moment of, wait a second, like now we're a family of three, right? Like we, our life looks way different now. There's a third person in this family that like, they can't talk, they can't tell mm -hmm. us like what they're consenting and not consenting to. So it, it really made us rethink boundaries. And we made the decision to stop showing our kids face like online um, which like not to shame people that do or do not do that. Totally. But I think it was just kind of like, a, okay, we want to really make sure that like our platforms are about us because we don't want to put our, our kid in a place where, you know, we're sharing things that they're uncomfortable with. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to say like from a follower, <laughs> like as a I, fan, <laughs> as a stan of the Howards, <laughs> you know, I, I did see the progression of like, I mean, not that you were like showing him a lot, but like yeah. you would show him mm -hmm. or like vlog him a bit more. And now I feel like you're still showing him, but in a way where it's like, you still know that he's there, but it's almost like you don't notice that you're not showing his face. Actually, I feel like you do a really good job of still like, I don't know, filming the moment. And yeah, anyway, I guess like we, you know, we have those conversations all the time about like finding a balance of like mm -hmm. showing our parenthood and our life, but still respecting their privacy. So. Yeah. Because yeah. I truthfully do think that you can share a very authentic parenting experience without showing your children. Yeah. Or yeah. like, you know, I, I think there is a way to do both. And I think you can have both. And we're trying to figure that out. We're obviously like still learning. I think yeah. that it is hard, like having so many eyes, knowing that we are going to make mistakes and we yeah. are going to do things that we're like, oh man, I wish I could do that differently in hindsight or would have done that differently in hindsight. 
Yeah. And, and what's interesting is I was like one night I, I was like kind of sad and I was like going back on our old videos and watching these like vlogs of like us mm. as a couple. And it was just like so many sweet memories that yes, like we had vlogged them and you know, there's always like a cinematic perspective, I guess. Cause like when you're vlogging, you, you're aware that the camera's there and right. but like we still were, we've always been very open and honest with our audience. And so I was watching this video. I'm like, man, I just want to make like, I just want to like vlog my day again. Mm. And I vlogged my day again. And then the video ended up being it, like the title ended up being a day in the life with two under two because like I, I was like man I am so like this is my life like through and through I'm like with my kids all the time and it's and I love it but then I'm like man it kind of stinks that I can't just like authentically authentically vlog everything like we used to it takes because more effort for be sure. oh, yeah. because now you know there's other people in the mix that I need to be thinking about their privacy and and all that mm -hmm. so it definitely it definitely changes <laughs> things it, it changes things a lot yeah I don't know <laughs> about you guys and like your kids, but Micaiah loves the camera. Oh yeah. And so even if I'm trying to film, it's yes. like, I need to do it in a way just that she doesn't around, see goes it. Up to it grabs <laughs> the screen. Yes. Yes. What is it's it about like, the camera? There. Yeah. And like phones. he literally grabs the lint. He's dropped our, he's, he's <laughs> like karate chopped our camera so many times. Let's go. Oh Boys. My God. <laughs> yeah. He's and, and I'm trying to get these like fun B roll shots, like where his head's turned. But like, if I, I have to be careful. Cause like, if he sees the camera, then he just like, he just wants to go look at it and like I know. tap it. They and just and like, stare at he it. loves it. We turned off the record sound. So nice. whenever we would hit it and go, Doop, she, she like, know that it's a camera and turn around so it's <laughs> yeah. like you try and like hide that you have the camera and set it up and then hit record yeah. without it making noise but the the thing that i love about that decision and not show their faces though is like because okay we used to put out we still put out a crap ton of content but we mm. used to put out like three times as much as we do now and when we did that any moment of any day you're like oh this is an interesting thing happening i should vlog it mm. and like now that we've you know made we've established more privacy with our personal life i'm able to be a lot more present in those moments with my kids because mm -hmm. i'm not like thinking about like oh this funny thing happened that he just did i should record it and sure i'll like take videos here and there but i'm a lot more present and i'm able just to i, I just want to completely like just be a dad and i just want to oh. completely be there for my son and i don't want social media to come in the way of that at all oh wow. i love that something that That's we really have been guess. doing is doing private vlogs so like, I heard you say that, and I told Matt, I was like, we need to do that. I don't know, it's just so sweet. Like, And I was showing her some, like we vlogged Easter morning, and obviously just like, she's fully like in the camera and stuff. And yeah. it's, you know, it's like having home videos, but we, we are like, hey, like we're vlogging. That's yeah, so like, funny. It's like <laughs> doing our job, but it just doesn't go anywhere. And then it's like for her to watch, yeah. you know, to see like what Easter was like when she was yeah. one. You know? That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, because we, we talked about the fact that we were like, when we were showing Griffin and making videos with him in it, like it's so fun now to go back and look at those videos. I'm like, I'm kind of sad that we don't have that. Yeah. And I'm like, we can still have that. Yeah. We can have it all. Yeah. It'll be great. Yeah. So Aww. we need to do that. That's such a good idea. Yeah, definitely recommend that it. That's our idea. Let's do it for Christmas. Yeah, you should. We should. Dude. That'd be awesome. That's great. So yeah. fun to look yeah. back on. I love that. You do Vlogmas, but none of it gets posted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it's just every day. <laughs> So much work. Isn't oh. it funny though how like once you become a parent, it's like all consuming. It's like oh, you yeah. get if you oh. just if you did a daily vlog, like it's going to be you as a family man Me or, a, or a family woman. All day. Like, right. Here just, we are again. It, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just like such a big part of your life. It changes everything. It changes you know? my brain. Like like I was saying, I am like two different people, and I'm like my kids are like needing me right now. Yeah. yeah, I can't. I think I'll get better once I'm like not so much freshly postpartum. Mm -hmm. But like wow, right now I'm like fight or flight all the time oh it's kind of scary <laughs> all right so another thing we have in common is that we both got married young yeah so yeah married let's go <laughs> we're still married <laughs> we're still, yeah we, we're, we're doing it something let's that, go something that we did we waited to to vlog till we were married we did wait till vlog till we were married. Wait, wait, wait. We on purpose? No, I, I was we trying to make like some stupid so. joke about that. Like, wait, I always Because you guys were like, we were vlogging before we were married. And I'm like, yeah. oh, we waited to vlog until we were married. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so bad. Um, uh, for a second, I was like, wait, was that like a conscious decision? <laughs> no, we were not even thinking about I was going to, I was like a substitute teacher when we got married. Like we were not thinking Aww. about anything like this. So yeah, that's why I always do a joke. I'm like, I'm accidentally married an influencer. Because when we got married, like this was not in the cards, like not on the table at all. And so I fully see, this is totally a side note, but I fully see a day where like I am not on social media mm -hmm. and like Matt's 
doing his thing, like probably doing social media still. <laughs> and so <laughs> they're the same. Touring oh. with daddies, bro. Yeah. Go yeah. get your so tickets we'll now for the daddies tour. <laughs> <laughs> 2024 tour. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're doing all of US, Canada, all Europe. We're going to hit Australia yeah. for the home fans. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll be on the lead vocals. Uh, Gabe will be on the drums. I play Bigger. the drums. Wait, no way. Yeah. yeah. I was making it, I was just like trying to tease no, you. No, so I grew up playing. You can the be drums. the lead. You can be the lead vocals. And no, 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 no. I'll just dance. No, no, no. I'll just I'll do TikTok be, dances. I'll, <laughs> I'll do the harmonies, <laughs> but on the drum set. Yeah, he just got a drum set. Yeah. Yeah. So I grew up playing the drums, and then and then Jess just got me a drum set again for my. I'm birthday. just thinking about like Step Brothers now that you mentioned drum set. I'm like, I can't, bro. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen it, bro. What I think of when when I like I play the drums, I think of like Kevin in the office. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love when Kevin spills the chili on the floor bro. in the episode of The Office. He's one of the best characters, dude. Fun fact: I was in. I, I literally did a show with Phyllis from The Office. What? So we grew up doing professional theater. It was like we were like the not cool actors like we were like the youth ensemble basically we were the free unpaid yeah we were unpaid but it was like a really nice. cool opportunity we auditioned That's how we for met. it Aww. we met at this theater called the muni in st louis and phyllis is from st louis i think and she was in the sh was, uh, was in greece and so like i started watching the office because i was like i got a picture with her yeah like i would talk to phyllis and i realized oh she's like famous like she was on the office and so then but i watched I feel the show like the office got bigger no even after after that, that like the office has gotten so how big. old were you guys then uh, well, I started performing like there when I was eight and then Abby, oh, wow. I, and then I think it was when we were 13 that we met. Yeah. To go back to your question about getting married <laughs> young, we met at 13. Yeah. Oh my God. Doing and professional theater at this unpaid professional theater. Okay. At <laughs> nice. theater. We have never <laughs> dated anybody else. Both of us. Yeah. Wow. We've only dated each other. We've only kissed each other except for in theater. Truth or dare. Ooh. I also and kissed, and when I was thirteen. I kissed a girl in Truth or Dare, and then when I was fifth, no, how, first of all, how dare you? That was <laughs> I wrong. I am so sorry. <laughs> Office quote. I, oh! I totally missed that. No, I think actually I said it wrong. Number one, how dare you? <laughs> no, it's fine. Over my <laughs> name the <head>. character. <laughs> Kelly Kapoor oh, to oh, Ryan. Sorry. I, oh, that's we right. were all like, ooh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, come there's, on. What's funny is if you watch the first season of The Office, like there's so many episodes that would like not be okay in oh 2023. It would get canceled so oh, fast. The whole show is <laughs> still. But it's so funny. <laughs> Dude, it's so, it's so oh, good. They yeah. don't make they don't make shows like, shows that. like that anymore. Yeah. So sadly. Yeah. back to marriage. When you did get married, was it an adjustment for you guys? Like moving in together and like was there differences between the two? Yeah. How was like the start of your marriage? I will say I expected a massive transition just because don't you feel like everyone says that too? They're like, oh, I know you you feel like you're so close now, but when you're married, it's like totally different. Yeah. Everyone told us that. So I was like prepared for like a crazy shift and I didn't feel that because, I mean, we weren't doing long distance. We were living in the same town mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we uh, like were in college at the time and like we had the same friend group, like. My friends were friends with his friends, so we, like, kind of all hung out. And it just was, like, the only difference was pretty much that we were, like, staying at the same house now. Mm. So I feel like we had a pretty smooth transition. That's not to say we didn't have, like... Yeah. Know. Oh, it felt... It was literally the same, except we were living together and having... Making love. <laughs> we don't talk nice. about that. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. I think you guys said you didn't want to talk about that with us, so we won't say the word. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can say... <laughs> No, we just don't like go he, like, into doesn't detail. Know how to describe it. He's like, He's uh, like uh, so we were <laughs> doing the thing. <laughs> Matt, I can't. Sorry. I just didn't let him pick up the pieces of what oh he said. Um, all that to say, it wasn't like the crazy transition that I thought it was. It was yeah. actually just, like so freaking fun. Like I Aww. felt like we were playing house. Like I, he came home from work and I was like making dinner. I was like, look at us. It was like Aww. a movie. Wow. So yeah. that was really fun. The transition that was really hard was the kid thing. Yes. That was like, that was the one that was like, okay, feels like the earth kind of turned a little bit. Like Aww. it was crazy. So but yeah, marriage was really fun. Yeah. That fun. is another thing we have in common. Just to add to the list. <laughs> you and I gave birth at very similar times yeah. in July of last year. Now you have two and a two. <laughs> You have two. It's is thirteen it, months. Yeah, is it two thirteen months 13? apart? That's wild. Me and my older brother are fifteen months apart. Yeah, Whoa. and it's very rare that I ever like see someone who's like closer than that. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's wild to do that. We were very shocked. Well, congratulations, festival. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you, yeah, congrats, are you sleeping 
We are. You, That's good. You know, we have the craziest, like, good little sleeper. So we sleep trained our oldest, mm-hmm. and he sleeps mm-hmm. good, except for recently. I think he's teething. Yeah. But he will little. wake up, and he won't go back to bed for, like, two hours. Oh, so brutal. when he's up, and then I'm, like, thinking about the fact that our newborn is going to be waking up at the same time. I'm like, mm. wow, this is going to be rough. So, yes, we are still getting – we can't complain. We get good sleep for That's good. given the circumstances. That's really good. Nice. I know. Our baby started sleeping at like six weeks from like through the night till like 7 a.m. Wow. Micaiah did the same. and She was doing like six at. at like big chunks. Six weeks. She six was doing weeks. like six hour stints. So it wasn't mm. like a full through the night, mm. but it was enough to be like we got. But then the regression. Did she get the regression? Yes. That's what I know. I'm like, I know we're in the blissful stage, but when four months comes, I feel like we're going to be in for it. Yeah. Yeah. It was like multiple times. There's like a few <laughs> regressions. And it was just, yeah. You're like, oh, we did it. And then it happened. Yeah. Again. That's why I'm like, I'm not yeah. too comfortable because I know that. You know what's good. coming. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. good thing about a second child, though. It's like, I feel like I have very realistic expectations yeah i was gonna ask how does two feel i know it's still early but i don't know we talk about it all the time like how are we gonna have another baby that like we just love the same as micaiah like it's so it's so hard to think about it It is hard to think about it's funny though like you have this realization eventually where okay with our youngest Yes, it's harder to like connect with him as much as our oldest because our oldest can like laugh with us and yeah. he'll like we'll do peekaboo and he just like dies laughing and then I'll go Ooga da baka and he just <laughs> dies laughing like he thinks that's the funniest <laughs> he thing. Says, baka waka, baka oh. waka. Like you'd be surprised at how funny that is to a one year old. Bro, it's I'm the, cracking up. It's the funniest. <laughs> it's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> but um, no, then you re- you have this realization of like he's gonna turn into like that too. Like mm. they're like yeah. that's I will so say neat. it does feel like we're still getting to know our baby and yeah it, and i f- remember that we did the exact same thing with our first like we were still getting to know each other for yeah. a little bit and it's like you love them so stinking much like it hurts but you are still getting acquainted they're knowing who you are and mm-hmm. we're learning who they are so yeah it is so crazy but i will say i feel like going to one baby was like crazy and two is just like ah adam and like really? i think so the well, first weeks okay. are always gonna be tough you hear that like we got to we got to recognize though Do it. that like we didn't have starting out we didn't really have family around mm. us with mm. our first and so it was just all on us and then and we would have like sitters and stuff to help so that we could like get work done and things but now with two under two Abby's parents do live with us and they have been such a huge help for instance in the beginning usually like if we didn't have our parents we would have been waking up with our newborn and our toddler but luckily cuz they they live in the same house as us when our youngest would wake up at like seven in the morning, we wouldn't have to, you know, run off of three hours of sleep. We've been up all night. Yeah. Like, yeah, we were able to, you know, sleep till, you know, eight or nine and like actually get sleep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and that was a huge help. Yeah. So, that is so nice. That's really yeah. cool that you have your parents living with you. I know. Yeah. We get people asking, like, even like, I'll tell people at like events, I'll be like, yeah, my mom, she like, they live with us. And people are like, what? How is that? I'm yeah. Like, Honestly, it's, become so normal like yeah it's that's great. great it's that's, great it's funny it's like a very it's a very uh like new western thing to actually not have multiple generations right in the same yes house. right yeah, it's it so crazy. it's so normal in other countries yeah do you know how it happened the history is pretty crazy what yeah i don't well, know so like the family kind of so people most people used to always have their own uh like a f- running a business, a family business. So like the whole uh, family worked, whether it was a bakery or whatever, the yeah. whole family worked as that. And then like industrial revolution factories started pulling dads out of the home. So that was like the first time dads were mm. like doing the nine to five, going to work really? and then coming home. Then there was, uh, the Sears had this thing back in the day, the home kits where you can order a home, uh, a home to your, wherever you could like buy a lot or something. <clears throat> order a whole like build it yourself home from Sears and they would ship it and out and it would ship it on a bunch of pallets and then you could like build it yourself a whole home back in I forget when the, like maybe early 90s or something like that okay so then that got a lot of people to be able to afford a home and move out from their like multi-generational household really mm. into a mm. a separate home and that kind of started separating families wow which is crazy feels like a failed experiment that we're living in yeah you know? it's working great for us having them in like yeah that's having awesome. them and yeah we want to get her her, her parents yeah over here from that. australia yeah. Oh, yeah it's so sweet and i mean i in the ideal world i feel like 
Well, actually, no, not in ideal world. Like, I do need, like, a minute to myself, like, to go to the gym by myself, mm-hmm. like, to not mm-hmm. always, like, because mentally, like, like I said, if I'm, like, in charge of the kids, like, by myself, I kind of, like, I feel like I'm running on, like, 120%. So it's, mm-hmm. like, every once in a while I need, like, a break. And so it's so nice to have yeah. them. And it's nice. Because I don't do it. I, like, I don't do anything for our kids at all. So, like, Abby, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just, like. Oh no, that makes sense. People say online. Yeah. Same, same. We're yeah. touring with our daddy's yeah. band. While you yeah. Guys. <laughs> you guys are super busy. I'm just, like, too <laughs> focused on the daddy's yeah. <laughs> music production. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. That's, <laughs> I didn't say that right. What do I mean? Like where no, I No, you did say it. you said it. Right. Okay, I, I, I understand. Yeah. Where well, you you would. What did you say? You like work. You're basically you work part time, and then you're you're not like a full stay at home mom, but you're able to kind of have mess. the best of both worlds. Yeah. yeah. The fact that my mom is with our kids when mm-hmm. I'm not there gives me like a I I feel like really good about it because I know that she's gonna be in his life forever. Yeah. Like maybe if it was like a hired person, like that you can find amazing people to take care of kids. I don't think that that's like the only way to do it, but it just gives me an extra layer of assurance. And they're mm-hmm. like having quality time with their grandparents. They yeah. love, her, yeah. like they love them so much. It's Aww. really cute. Okay, so you have two. Are you both on the same page with like how many you want? Like is two, are you good with two? We're gonna come back to that at some point. We, I see. yeah, <laughs> we say we're not gonna talk about it. And then like literally like it's every day we're like, well, you know, we could, and it's like, we have this conversation. It's like, wait, we're supposed to not talk about this for a couple uh, of years. It's like, why do we feel like we need to like decide right yeah. now? Cause it's cause we got pregnant four months postpartum last time. So we're yeah. like, okay, it's about <laughs> month three. It's like, coming up. We- <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. yeah. How quick. Yeah. It was scary at the time. It Gosh. was really scary. Um, so all I have to say, <laughs> you know, I would love to have more. Um, and Matt is like kind of tapped out at this moment. Not tapped out. You're maxed out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's number one. It's no, it has nothing to do. You? Okay. It has <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it, honestly, I, I mean, I will say it has more to do with just wanting time with my wife. Mm-hmm. Like, I, cause yeah. I love my children so mm-hmm. much, but like, I feel like my brain can, when we're on a date, my brain can switch off and just be like present on the date. And I don't have to think about like, what if my kids like coloring on the wall and like screaming and you know, I like, mm-hmm. and Abby's like thinking about that the whole time. And I'm like, man, like if we have like four kids, she, I will never get my wife back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be no. thinking about that. We'll be on a date and like one of the four children will be like blowing something up and yeah, we're going to yeah. get a phone call and it's like, oh, date's over. You have to go home and, you know, put out the house fire. Yeah. Yeah. I have a cousin who has six kids. Him and his wife have six. Wow. They had four, then they had twins. It went from yeah. four to six, which is crazy. Wow. But what's really cool is seeing their oldest as a girl. So it's seeing like their older kids now are yeah. now like helping with the younger kids. So it's like having like a built in mm-hmm. system of, yeah. of like, that's cool. Helpers. So you don't have house. to be a parent anymore. You can just like force your <laughs> other yeah, kids. Exactly. You're other raise, kid parent then. It's like, no, yeah. No. Go like wake up with the baby in the night. Like that's a cool system. Yeah. yeah. No. Perfect. Uh, I'm, jo- not I'm not. joke. That was a joke. <laughs> everyone. Internet. <laughs> it's called a joke. <laughs> um, yeah. So I feel like that's the question we will revisit in the future. Matt is, that's not to say I'm totally content with our two sons. Like, I don't mm. think, I don't feel like our family is incomplete at all. I feel very satisfied and, like, love what we have going. Yeah. Aww. And it's but cool because we can. But I also just, like, love babies and, we, and yeah. having babies, too. And we tag team so well. Like, at Disneyland, it was, like, I could be fully present with our oldest. And then Abby was, like, fully present with mm. our youngest. And it felt like we were able to manage that. I'm like, oh, mm. this is cool. Like, we yeah. can we can be great parents to two kids. And it can be a lot of fun. And just like seeing him experience Disney mm. for the first time was really neat. So Aww. I don't know. I, and I also worry that if we have like more then I'm like, I don't want to divide my time up more. Like mm-hmm. I, I've, I've realized I've, as I've gotten older, our time is so finite. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I just want to make sure that I'm making the most out of my time Yeah. because it, it's just, it goes by so fast. Yeah. I'm curious for you guys. Who's, are you the one that wants more babies? Prob- yeah, probably. Really? So yeah. it's flipped with you guys. Mm-hmm. No way. So you're done or you, or you would no, be, you would be content with one. Mm-mm. No, I oh, definitely okay. want another baby, but I think Gabe is more for I'm more thinking Plus. four. Well, she's one of three, and I'm, I'm one of four. Yeah. So, like, in my head, I'm like, oh. Four is doable. Like, it was, like, great having three siblings. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't but know. It's I don't know. It's just, like, again, like, I love babies. The love that I have for Makai, it's like, of course I want to experience that over and over. Yeah. Also, but I'm, like, really weird about things sometimes, and there's, like, the 
population collapse issue. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I, this is not. Or have have you been to Wyoming? Have you been to Wyoming? There's what? like nobody, no. no one lives there. No, so. no, no. But what I'm saying is, is like if you look at the bell curve of like how many babies are being produced versus a population now. Okay. Like life and like. 70 years is going to be like really bad if people don't start having kids. Oh, more we'll, kids. we'll fix that. Oh, wait, That's people, oh, people need Sign to have more up. kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's really? what I'm saying. People need to have more kids. And it's actually the opposite of what everyone thinks. Really? The like, population is so big. But like a lot of specific countries yeah. aren't having, like we don't have enough, like real estate could collapse in the next like 20 years because uh, we don't have enough kids gotcha. who are like young and, and like in teenage years now for when they start buying houses, just from a population perspective, they won't be able to, there will not be enough home buyers to buy the homes from all the baby boomers who are going to be passing oh, away. Gotcha. So then it'll be a whole like real estate collapse. A bunch yeah. of jobs will, and companies will fail because they won't, there won't be enough employees to like keep up the growth of a society. It's like pretty crazy yeah. when you look into it. You so basically, like <clears throat> okay. So to protect the value of our, our real estate. <laughs> so I think you have like a rental property. I, we have an Airbnb. So basically to like protect the investment we made, we should have a lot of kids to like make sure. That's exactly Okay, it. It's an Got investment it. strategy. Okay. No, no, but apparently it's, it's a uh, two point to like repopulate a generation just to be even it's 2.1 children. Wow. It's like the average just to account for, uh, you know, kids who pass away or whatever. But, you anyway, weird conversation okay. for the podcast. But can I say something? I said I loved babies earlier, and I'm like over here overthinking that. Oh. <laughs> I just love the fact, like I, I love having children. Yeah, like it's mm-hmm. not like I just like I'm obsessed with the baby stage because, truthfully, as our son gets older, the more I'm like, this is so. Oh my god, it's so, so fun. It's so, it's so fun. much fun. But it actually, I think it actually is more work as they get older. But it's mm-hmm. fun though. Yeah, I just I genuinely love hanging out with him. Yeah. It's so freaking fun. All that to say, I'm not going to just keep having babies just so I have uh, them at this like specific yeah, yeah, yeah. age. It's okay. I didn't think that's what you meant. Thank you. Because <laughs> yeah. I but do think internet, some people get addicted. She said the right thing. <laughs> Stop commenting things that are bad. Gosh. I do think some people get stuck <laughs> and just like obsessed with like tiny Loving. babies. Yeah. And then they just keep having babies because they like love that stage only. Which yeah. that's not the case for me at least. Yeah. The, like I, I love newborns. They're so cute. But man, like one year olds are so much more fun. Dude, they just so la- Dude, he laughs so much. Yeah. Like on a road so trip, good. we would be driving and then we'd like hear little. He goes, ha, 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 ha. Like, he what, what does he do? To himself. He goes, uh, no, yeah, it's like a, he inhales. It's like this weird like inhale laugh. It's that really is cute. So oh. good. Yeah. Oh. And he'll just make himself, he'll, and he'll like fart, like, but not actually, he'll just go like with his, with his mouth because he learned how to make that noise and he'll start laughing at himself. Oh. That's and I'm so like, good. that's my kid. Dude, Makaya Mac- started like, if she actually farts, she'll start laughing at herself. <laughs> She's starting like, to react like, to it. And she'll be like, oh. <laughs> like Wait, do you ever like <clears throat> like fart in front of each other? Like like with your mouth? Oh like because Griffin and I back and forth, we'll just go on for like <laughs> a, bro, like hours. Full like, conversation. And then he just does it back and it's hilarious. That is so we funny. Should try. Yeah, That's we should try. So it's really cute. Has he started saying any words yet? Kind no, of. No, we kind of make them into words. They're more like yeah. sounds. We're like, mm-hmm. that's water. <laughs> no, he'll go, he'll go wa and he'll go ma. ma. So ma is more, wa is water. He can say dada and mama. Dude, Aww, I have to show okay. him. I have to, hold on, uh, let me, I gotta, I gotta play this. This was. Okay, can you say Bible? Wow. No, say Bible. Bible. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How funny is that, dude? She like is saying She's, things. That's All morning, good. she was like, Bible. I'm like, Bible. okay. She'll like see, like if I'm away and come back and then Jess like opens the door and I'm walking in and she goes, look who's home. And she's like, daddy. She like oh. is saying Aww. on it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's like just like, a month and a half ago, she like wasn't able to like say these things, and she yeah. says like "mama" and "daddy" and all yeah. this stuff. And it's oh just, my gosh! Isn't I it cool? It's so it's kind of crazy how they can fully understand us now. Oh, That's yes. weird. They they it's know like, what we're want, saying. Do you want this? And she's like, no. And it's like, do yeah. you want a banana? Yes. Banana. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. He knows everything that we say, pretty much. Not everything that we say. Yeah. He knows a lot, but he just doesn't say a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Says, yeah, yeah. Ma. His new thing oh. is like when he and wakes a lot up, of he'll wake up crying in the night from teething, which is kind of sad. But um, he'll like I'll get him out of bed to hold him, rock him, and he'll be pointing at the door. So when we go out the door, he points downstairs. We go downstairs. He points to the ice machine. He just wants to play with ice. I'm like, dude, it's literally two a.m. Like, can we not play with you? <laughs> and then and then we like we start to walk upstairs away from the ice, starts crying again. So then we he points back to the ice machine. We go back, and start playing with ice. He again. knows how to get anyone. Oh. Yeah, and you just say, bro, chill. Yeah. Literally. Literally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what <laughs> was this postpartum <clears throat> different than your first postpartum? How I would how say they been? were pretty similar, really? honestly. 
Except this time, <laughs> I was like, okay, I know what to expect. I know that I'm going to, like, have a hormone crash at some point. Mm. But then I had a C-section this time, so I was like, wait, maybe I'm just bypass that whole thing because I was on oxytocin. Is it oxytocin? Oh, yeah. yeah. You got, like, pumped full of that stuff. And so I was like, I'm Sick. not going to get it. I feel amazing. <laughs> I was like, I have never felt better, actually. Oh, my gosh. And then day two came, and it was like i was like here i was like here it was so bad we had like a really hard time the first i would say the first week postpartum but i think we had a really hard time the first time too but Mm -hmm. we just kind of like let time let us forget how hard it was and then this time i was like man this was way harder but i really think that we were just time health healed a lot of wounds last isn't it time. funny how that wow. happens it's like but i still want to keep doing it oh yeah i know like, but yeah it was i would say it was a very similar experience <laughs> why did i that was so like immature of me I just how dare that. you <laughs> laugh what are you that. even laughing at you said i just still want to keep doing it <laughs> oh. <laughs> you need to get out of love <laughs> you need to get out of this room making love <laughs> right <laughs> Uh, Matt, honestly, uh, sorry, we agreed that we would yourself. not talk about that on this podcast. <laughs> excuse yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so kind of speaking of, I watched a video of you explaining that you're sleeping in different beds. I don't know. Is that still happening? No. Okay. I, we did it for the first five weeks, which honestly is a long time. Like five weeks. Yeah. Did you enjoy having your own space? We were in survival mode, it so was, it kind of just yeah. felt necessary. It was just to make, so like Abby has this weird thing, like when she wakes up in the morning, she will not take a nap. It doesn't matter if she got two hours of sleep or it's the a full eight hours. I'm like, like she's like, up. I will not be napping. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to sleep with our baby so that you can actually like sleep at night because like selfishly, I don't mm. want you to turn into a monster during the day because you're so tired yeah. I and, you're, and she's so, and Abby's stubborn. So like she won't take a nap. So I'm like, okay, I want you to get your full eight hours. So I'm going to sleep with our newborn. I and never then I'll, got a full eight hours. Real that Okay, back. seven, <laughs> seven hours, whatever. She we, had, we she got, had FOMO in the other room. We got, <laughs> I'm in the she's other like, room. he's awake. <laughs> no, we would, we would wake up in the night, but like. To I, feed him and then. Yeah. He would bring him in for me to feed him and then take well, him so, back out. So our system was Abby would pump and then I would bottle feed. Mm. Um, and so that that just made it faster because breastfeeding can take a long time, sometimes like an hour. Yeah. So with the whole pumping situation, it would take her 15 minutes to pump and her supply is insane. Like she'd pump out like 20 ounces. Uh, not that much. I, how oh much How gosh. much would you pump? That's a crazy it's amount. A, it's I an insane, would do dude. like 12. It's an, she got mastitis twice because her supply was so crazy the first pregnancy. <sighs> so this one, she like was down in sunflower pills like, like crazy just mm. to make sure. And her, tried not to pump because yeah. it really like does make yeah. it worse. So she would pump, I would bottle feed. And I think you saw, was it like a TikTok that I made about like sleeping in separate beds? I think so, yeah. And then I was like joking about like, and I'm li- currently I'm listening to this new artist, Matt Howard. Oh, like, yes. I, you can't I, like, plug your mu- song a third time right now. I can't, I cannot <laughs> plug my music. Yeah, Reel I need, it back. I need to shut back. up. No, it's okay. Uh, but anyway, we'll plug. yeah, that was, I did that in that TikTok. But yes, yeah, so we were separate beds. We do those 15 minute feedings and then go back to bed. And it was a good system for us. It really yeah, worked. Yeah, it worked out really well. Um, and it was just a temporary thing. A lot of people were like, this is the first step towards divorce like they were like it's not yeah i was like those people commenting that they're just 25 and clueless Wow. I was like, when you said the music again, I was like, crap, we had another one lined up. And wait, like, wait, yeah, that was, oh, that's my other song. Yeah, yeah, that's, bro. A, that's Falling in Love. 25 and Clueless. Let's go. Guys, yeah. we're fans, okay? I love this. this. Okay, speaking, well, I guess just to finish on that, I... I feel like I would hate sleeping in a different bed than you. Yeah, I know. I, I would feel too. like you. No, I feel like you'd be okay. One time asleep. <laughs> well, yeah. That's the thing. When people are like, "This is like, it's so bad for your relationship," I'm like, "How many of you are growing closer together as you are yeah. literally asleep?" Yeah, that's true. So I think I was like, it was just sheer exhaustion. But now where we're at, I would be. I can't fall asleep if Matt's like not. Yeah. What was the What was like the <laughs> nighttime routine? Uh, it's like, like walk in another room. Oh, good bye. night. Okay. Yeah, it walk, is weird. He would. Away. He would like tuck yeah. me in. Oh, yeah. He'd be yeah. like, please get some sleep. Gosh, it's like we, we, our kid's almost three months old, so now I'm like, oh, I need to think back to like. The routine so changes longer. so often. Yeah, yeah. it just but changes. But yeah, so quick. you would just like, I would feed him, and then it's like, okay, as soon as he's done eating, like, hurry and go to sleep until he needs to eat again. And then you would you would tuck me in, and then. Cute guys. <laughs> go in the guest bedroom. Aww. Yeah. I literally would just pass out. Like, the second that he left, it was like I was asleep. It's nice. crazy in the beginning how much of it is, like, survival. It is. Like, I feel like we forget so much of it, but. Yeah, that's the one thing You're kind of, like, reminding like... me of, like, oh, my gosh. 
we had conversations like that too of like she fed she's down i've got to go to sleep yeah yeah mm-hmm. you know? and we're and we're so lucky because working for ourselves we can if we need to sleep in till 9 a.m yeah. right like we don't have to wake up that at like 5 45 to go to work in the morning so it's like if you're having a horrible night it sucks that you're up all night but if you need to sleep in you can the stakes you know? are so yeah. low like that's, and then we're working as a team like abby yeah. and i had each other so that was really nice but i just i don't know how like single parents that are working oh, Bro, single same. parents. i'm like, I'm like you're a superhero how do they freaking do it's it crazy how do they how do they get through that i don't know yeah i think about that all the time <clears throat> like needing to go to the office at like 8 8 a.m or something that it's like how? it makes me panicky even if i just have like a random thing scheduled for the morning and mm-hmm. i'm like up in the night Imagine that every single day. That was my mom. At, she had to go back to work at six weeks postpartum and be mm. in front of 30 third graders. All day. Oh. That's so many people's reality. And I'm like, I cannot, like, I just have to keep that perspective. Yeah. But like, mm. even though it is so hard and it's good to like acknowledge that, that it's a hard thing, but like, it can be so much harder. Gosh. Seriously. Like mm-hmm. I can't even imagine. So we feel super, super blessed. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Going back to the music. 25 and clueless. 25 and clueless. <laughs> okay. No, we need to, to tell you, we have been seeing that line all day. And, <laughs> and I was like, babe, you cannot sing that when, when they come. Like, because I need to say then the joke's going to be say the joke on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the anyway. delivery was excellent. But I'm just 25 and <laughs> Just trying to get through this. Okay. We know that you guys Bro, have like crushing. a musical theater background. So was music and like creating your own music like always a dream for you? So as musical theater kids, <laughs> do you hear the people sing? <laughs> well, that's singing fun. the songs of angry men. Okay. You need to sit down and... <laughs> Did you? The I'm getting a feeling. Did you play Gavroch? Gavroch. What is that the name? What's the name of the kid? What? Yeah, oh, no, no, no. I didn't Garage? start musical theater until like middle school, oh. so I was like too. I aged out of that role. I played I, both kids in The Sound of Music. Oh, oh. let's go. At Profe- the same time. Professionally. <laughs> he got paid. I got paid. I got paid three hundred dollars yeah. for oh, one of them. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Oh. Cash, dude. I was uh, Scarecrow, The Wizard of Oz. Nice. I was. Uh, the Artful Dodger in Oliver. Musical. That's dope. I always, yeah. so Oliver that was, was one of those one. shows that like made me fall in love with musical theater like crazy. And I was like, I want to be Oliver like that. Like <laughs> that just, I don't know. The show was really cool. But your question, your question about you me. did always want you guys. Have you seen, you probably haven't seen this. I have to show you after this. What? The video of Matt seeing baby. Oh, I think I've seen it. Did you okay. post it on your when podcast? When I was 13. Instagram? Yes. Oh yeah. Baby, yeah when, like Justin Bieber baby? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bro, let's go. He's had it in him for you. Since the Aww. beginning, honestly. Bro, so this guy's ready for the daddy's boy band. He's ready. <laughs> and I'm, I'm honestly ready to be a music artist's <laughs> wife. Like, <laughs> what, what's crazy is like, okay, t- traditionally in music, like you needed to be like discovered at like 15 and then your music career could take off like maybe once you're 19 because you've, you know, worked worked hard enough and done a lot of music and tours and stuff. Yeah. But now because of social media, I feel like it's changing it. Like I think you could be 50 years old and have su- uh, have a successful music career if you're consistently posting content and mm. consistently releasing music. So that's really inspiring. Mm-hmm. Dude, so. It is cool. You like that one new guy, the guy who wrote the Richmond North of Richmond. Oh, I haven't, I don't know who that what, guy is. What? No, Yo, this guy went so do you, viral. Do you know Nick D? he made fine apple. Have you heard the song fine apple? No. no. You, you know, Connor price. He did the song spinning. It's like, He'd spun a globe and then put his finger on the globe and then uh, collabed with the artist that his finger landed on is this in the TikTok? country. Yeah, these are like viral they don't TikTok. Have TikTok. TikTok. Oh, we're that's not, what it we're is. not like scrolling TikTok a lot. Uh, yeah. I so, feel like yeah. we are so old. Oh. Yeah. No, these yeah. are. I don't really scroll TikTok, but these are like mega viral videos. I am 29, so <laughs> <laughs> I know I didn't want to bring it up. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> anyway, it's but, it, but it's cool though. It's the <laughs> I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> it's democratized the music industry though, because back in the day, like you had to sign with the label. Yeah, yeah. You needed the label, like you just relied on the label for everything. Mm. And now, if you can find a way to make content that get people excited about your music, then that's the way that you can have a successful music career. And yeah. now, labels won't even sign you unless you already have a following anyway. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Were you ever like, I, this just came into my brain, like in the grocery store when you were young and like maybe singing, and you're like, <laughs> oh, I am going to get discovered. Like, there's going to be like a talent agent. Yes. <laughs> like, just like peeking around the, the grocery oh, the yeah. cereal yeah. aisle. Like, oh. Like, I as long as I'm coming, just 25 and <laughs> <laughs> So I'll be like, hey, 
No, that's what's funny is that's why I You're posted the, to LA. That's why yeah, at thirteen yeah. at thirteen I posted the video of me singing baby and I thought I was like, This is gonna be my big break. I was like me singing baby, you know, in my parents' living room at thirteen. Like my version of Scooter Braun is oh, gonna yeah. discover me on yeah. the social media no, guys, and you know, sign me to a label. And I just didn't understand like how it worked. You know, I didn't understand that like I needed to post like a hundred singing videos mm-hmm. and then yeah, maybe yeah. one of the hundred singing videos would get picked up. But I just was like, I posted my one, so like, hopefully I'm someone, no, let's hopefully wait. someone <laughs> finds me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. There's just like so much innocence in that. I just yeah. picked it like, what you were 13. Yeah. Did you like go back and look? And Did be you like, like oh, have your no first one's... love? <laughs> no. And did nobody can could compare to your baby, and nobody came between us, and we could ever come above. I'm like, what are you saying? I actually used to sing for girls at high school football games. So like, <laughs> no. Me, yeah. So like in middle school, how do you all feel the middle about school. That, are, this is a middle school. First of all, how dare you? No, if we went to the same high school, I don't think we would have dated because I don't think you would have been like interested well, let's go, in me. Let's go. I don't think I would have been interested in him. We went to the same high school. Honestly. I think you would have thought I was a loser and been like, he's no. weird. I don't want to date him. Wait, hold on. We have to go back. You sang for random <laughs> to girls. girls. Yes. I think so, I would have been like, he's such a player. <laughs> I don't know. I forget how it first happened, but I think it was like in sixth grade, like some random girls in my class. I sang that one Chris Brown song that like Justin Bieber got discovered for. It was like oh, with you, oh, yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. So I was singing with you to girls in sixth grade. And I was like, oh, girls like this. And then at football games with like all the public school kids, because I went to a private school. I was like, maybe if I sing to like these public school girls, like they'll think I'm cool. Wait, 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 so, wait. so you would just walk up to <laughs> random chicks no, and sing for I them? Wouldn't, I wouldn't do it, but like the, like the that. girls that, that already knew that I could sing, like, you got to hear this guy sing. Like he's, he like sings and stuff. And then I would sing like baby or like with you by Chris Brown. And they'd be like, oh my gosh. And so then eventually I posted that video thinking I would get discovered and it never happened. Oh, <laughs> bro. His time is coming though. We're trying to get him on the voice. Ooh. Actually. Actually. That would be sick. Dude, let's go. I honestly kind of, terri- I don't know why that kind of terrifies me. Like, I feel like it's so like if, if I, I would like to do a live show at some point, but I feel like if you do a live show, it's all people that like know you. But then if you're on the voice, it's like all Randoms. these randos yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, maybe they're like, Oh, he's a loser and he sucks at singing. You know, like I feel like it's, it's way kinda, more comfortable to sing for people that already, already. but you are, can actually sing is a thing. So it's kind of sick when it's like, you have this like dark horse talent under the radar. And then all of a sudden you like do the thing, you know, publicly. Right. And it's like, Oh, this guy, this guy's a family vlogger, YouTuber, <laughs> TikTok dude, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm do trying to get it, this to take do off. It, do it. Do it. Do Everybody. Do, do it, it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Wait, so oh what's the and strategy I'll be, to get I'll you on the voice? I'll be backstage just like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do the There's close-up like of you, like, push one tear with a baby. I can do that. We've done this all for him to get here. <laughs> Oh, no. journey. oh man what? that would crack me up <laughs> it was funny like i gotta you know how like everyone on the voice has a sob story like yes. it's yeah yeah, yeah yeah i i, yeah, really, like, I posted so tiktoks every day <laughs> <laughs> it's like i posted a, a video when i was 13 trying to get discovered and never happened and oh. this is my moment Aww. people are like we don't care we show a <laughs> But so what is the actual strategy to get you on the voice? I think you just send in stuff like uh, yeah. re- like a like an audition. There was like pretty much. Yeah. You guys could do some sort of like direct audition. I think so. Okay. So it's like go through full, your agent or Full something. transparency. Like I have auditioned for the voice before. <laughs> Didn't make it past the first round. Wait, wait. Was this? <laughs> it's really hard. Was it's, this like years this is, ago? This was, was like, okay. School. When I was 16, I auditioned. Didn't make it past the first round. When I was 19, I auditioned. Didn't yeah, make it pa- past 19, the first round. Honey. And then I had a video go viral of me singing like randomly on Instagram. And then I think some like booking person from The Voice saw it and they reached out. But it's not like a direct in. They're like, mm. we want you to audition. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I don't know. I still need to respond to their email. Yeah. But wait, recently that happened. Recently. So yes. recently the video went viral. Yeah. Yes. Oh. There you go. Yeah. So I still would have to audition. I think there's probably like four rounds of auditions. Here's the weird thing about the voice dude is like they have so many freaking good singers on the show, but somehow none of them end up making it as artists, which is really interesting yeah. to me. Like, who can you think of that you like you listen to their music and you're like, oh, they were found on the voice? No one. Well, no now one. nowadays it's so much more like it's like personality based. Yeah. And people can connect with you emotionally. Yeah. It's like the yeah, it's not which sucks because it's not just about the specific talent. It's how you market yourself and all yeah. that stuff, which is, which you work in marketing. <laughs> that is true. Bro, That's a like, good, that call back? good, good callback. <laughs> Thanks. So we wanted to end with, well, this kind of goes along with the music question, but 
what are your long-term dreams? Like, do you feel like you're living your long-term? Like, do you want to do social media forever? Do you ever think about quitting and moving on to something else? The voice. What? <laughs> Abby's like nodding her head. Like. Or or are you just <laughs> 25? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> what? Yeah, what Dude, is your long-term uh, dream look it, like? That's such a hard question because I feel like it changes every day. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like we would have never, ever thought that we would be here four years ago no. and just I don't know I, I never thought I'd live in Arizona like I didn't think I'd move to Arizona until two years ago and then mm-hmm. like now I live in Arizona yeah so random we live in the freaking desert okay it, it, it rains like place. three <laughs> it rains three days a year and it's it's 120 degrees in the Bro, that is so brutal <laughs> so it's 120 like, oh I know so I'm like I have no freaking clue yeah Abby what do you think I think I like right now <laughs> Oh, let's go. <laughs> no, truthfully, Man. I do so much, but I definitely see a day where I'm not on social. I'm not making social media content. That's not to say I'm not super thankful. Like I said, I feel like I need to preface that. Yeah. I dream of a day where I hang out with my babies all day, like go to the gym. I honestly, some people are just cut out for the simple life. I truly think I'm designed for the simple life. Like uh-uh. wake up in the morning with my kids, go to the gym, make breakfast, like go to the grocery store, may go on a walk, like things like that. I love that. But then I also do, I'm a very, I've realized this about myself. I'm a social person. I love being around people. I get my energy from being around people. So I dream of a day. Matt, I'm just gonna, he knows this. <laughs> I have a coffee shop. Oh, oh. You're, you're saying that. Okay. okay. I sh- <laughs> what did you think I was going to say? I thought you were going to be like, I want to be a music artist's wife. Because you said that on, on a recent YouTube no, video. No, this is part of the dream. Oh, okay. Matt's doing his, his, his like. His worldwide tour. What's fulfilling him at the moment. Because he We're the daddies. We're the daddies. I'm on the drums. Not the daddies. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Not the daddies. But Matt's doing, like, I feel like Matt's passions are very, so like, stupid. day to day. Like, mm. he, he goes every which way. I'm like, do whatever you're loving. I have a coffee shop that I don't manage because I just, there's no way I can manage people. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm so disorganized. But you invested because you saved your mus- money wisely. Exactly. From a brand deal or two. <laughs> and you helped a fund lot of them. a coffee shop. Well, she like earns it. She earns yeah, it. That's what I'm own saying. It, yeah. She funded the coffee and shop. And I get to show up and see all the sweet girls that work there. Aww. And everyone that comes in, I get to talk with them as I make their coffee. And then I go back home to my kids and we play outside. That's like, that's that epic. truthfully that's so is sweet. like my f- happily ever after. I've like kind of had the same dream of like an office on top. That's like right. our like studio space or whatever, where I'm scheming on my next feature film. <laughs> nice. And then we have a coffee shop downstairs that people come and go. Yeah. But then I go down there. Hang Make with, a coffee. Hang with all the girlies. You know? <laughs> with all the girlies. <laughs> with all the girlies. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, I think yeah. I truly, I truthfully am cut out for like a simple life. Like uh-huh. that, that makes me happy. Whereas like Matt, this isn't like to say one's better than the other, but like Matt is like reach for the stars guy. Mm. And so yeah. it's like, it's fun like having that dynamic in our relationship. I will, I will say like what's scary about, I'm sure you guys have experienced this with owning things like you guys like own you know like like rental rentals and stuff but like when you own something like if we own the coffee shop then it's like maybe you're not managing people but you have to manage the manager like what if the Mm -hmm. manager sucks and you have to fire the manager like that's not fun Mm -hmm. you know don't, that's not part of my vision, though. So <laughs> don't ruin don't her dream. Ruin her that, dream. That'll that come happening. when the time comes. She'll deal with it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Matt, uh-huh. what's your? No, no. What you plans? do is you partner. Partner. If you find yeah. the right partner, yeah, someone who runs the whole thing, but then you are the visionary for the whole thing. So they yeah. have the ops. Gabe's like getting serious with the business. All right, guys, let's like, talk about business stuff since you really wanted to go in depth about business things <laughs> right. on this podcast. I think it's a possibility. This is actually the bit. Bu- I know you guys were listening to this for like marriage and family stuff, but we're talking about business. <laughs> yeah. Business strategy. Oh, I'm the <laughs> furthest thing from like a business woman. Matt knows. <laughs> Yeah, but that's why you partner with someone, and then you you already have the eyeballs. You bring people to the I coffee shop. I think it's a yeah. big possibility. Bigger. Yeah. What I was telling Abby, though, it'd be, I was like, it'd be sick if we, like, did that, but then we had our own coffee beverage that people could buy, and then we could always drink the beverage on our podcast. But see, that on our takes away we're the we're always, personal we're, aspect. Yeah, but we're always giving, like, which it's, like, fine. Like, I love, I'll drink, like, a LaCroix, or I'll drink, mm-hmm. like, an energy drink on mm-hmm. our podcast, and I'm like... 
I am promoting this product, and like, what if we could promote our own product? Totally, yeah. you product know, that'd placement. be sick. Yeah, my motivation is literally just to make coffee and see people. So I'm like, that okay, cool. Just wants to hang, you know. <laughs> I just want to hang. Uh, now, well, what's your vision? What's my vision? Oh my gosh. I love our family. I love you. I love to travel. I love to be creative. I don't know. I just think like the best thing to have is freedom. And that's what I've been realizing. So like I, that's why like I'm hesitant about like owning another thing. Cause then Mm -hmm. when I own something, I want to, I want to just do a good job of anything that I do. Mm -hmm. So it sucks when you like are doing something and it's not going well. Cause I want, I want to give like my full energy into it. I want to be the, I want to make the best music I can make. I want to make the best YouTube videos I I can make. I want to make the best podcasts episodes that I can make Mm. and so when you like divide up your time too much it's stressful so I think what I really want is just freedom and yeah the freedom just to create and like create from my heart and I I don't know that's why I really like that song I write I like right now because (laughs) (laughs) bro your music's gonna take (laughs) off thank you dude my here you know you know what my goal is my goal is to release a single every single month for the next year heck yeah because I just have I only have three songs and people go like oh I like the song I like Mm -hmm. right now but they Mm -hmm. go to my Spotify and it's like oh there's only three songs on here Mm -hmm. so I want them to go and be like oh there's like 12 songs or oh there's 20 songs and then maybe people can really connect to that yeah. You know. Also, it's Let's kind of go. the same with like posting one YouTube video versus posting twelve. It's like yeah, the more you release, one could take off and exactly. Yeah. But then you can't just put out a bunch of crap YouTube videos though. Like you got to make sure totally. they're quality. Yeah. So it's kind of that whole debacle of like okay, quality over quantity. Mm. So Bro, that's my yeah Achilles heel. I got really into like filmmaking and learning how to edit and all that stuff, and it's just like oh, I just spent three weeks editing a three minute video and when people- I could have made like. <laughs> 10 vlogs or or like a hundred podcasts bro yeah legit so yeah it's a uh the social media games is like this weird fine line of like quantity versus quality and is it funny like too you're like oh the podcast it's literally just sitting and talking and then you're like oh i forgot about the 12 hours of prep work that i did yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) like for each episode when you Mm -hmm. have a guest on because you don't want to just like go in i we made that mistake we had a guest on one time and i just like asked the dumbest questions and i was like I really need to like do my research before these. So now I like really like dive deep. deep. Yeah. 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 I was like low key, like listening to your podcast on the plane. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go. No, I've, I've literally been what? listening to you guys for so the past far. So days. good podcast. <laughs> Yay, everyone. <laughs> Yay, everyone. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys for coming on. This was so fun. Thanks for being up first guests of course wow. thank you for having so us fun. you guys definitely well do you want to like shout out your things yes shout what it. do you want to shout out abby mass music one last time <laughs> no, let's go I like right let's now. go <laughs> guys i do have to say the, all these all these music references they were completely completely unplanned uh, <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh my God. They're going to be like, wow, like Matt totally convinced all these people to just like plug his music the whole entire podcast. I literally had no idea. Like when you said that, I was like, wait, does he know that I like make songs? I don't even know. Like, oh my gosh. Of course. No. Um, yeah, we like, we make content on like every platform. So I'm sure you guys can find us wherever, you know, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. We're even on, are you guys on Snapchat? We're on Snapchat now. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're doing well, that. We're on yes. Twitter. We have five followers on Twitter, dude. Oh, let's it's go. Really po- taking we off. posted all of our shorts <laughs> to Twitter, and like nothing. Yeah, and it hasn't really worked. But that it worked on Facebook. We have a bunch of Facebook think it's moms. A fake account. Like a, p- people like my mom's age will come up to us and be like, "I watch your Facebook videos because we put oh. all of our content on Facebook." That's crazy. Yeah, Facebook man. Facebook Reels have like yeah randomly been a thing. I was creating Facebook content back in the day. Yeah, whatever. I'll, we gotta wrap this up. <laughs> We'll talk about it on a year podcast. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Thank you guys for being here. We really appreciate you being on. And yeah. let's do and life together. Let's do life together. We Woo. have to say our slogans. Yay. <laughs> Bye. Thank you to the live studio audience. Yes. Yay. Yes. Hey.